I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. I'll be fishing with a Guppy Jobo Jr. pencil popper in this video, and I'll have links to all of the gear in the description of the video. Oh man, that looked like a bomb went off on that plug. It was such a violent hit, it startled me. And now I've got slack line. I am not happy about this. You better be frayed. And indeed it was frayed. That was just a jumbo bluefish. There hadn't been any bluefish around, so uh, that one surprised me in numerous ways. But all right, better than seeing, you know, some stupid gear failure. Bluefish cut it off, it happens. Come on. Okay, that fish followed that plug for quite some distance. Um, and uh, all right, so the, the overcast skies are courtesy of the remnants of what was Hurricane Florence. And, and clearly, we're not experiencing any heavy wind or rain here. I mean, we're going to get some rain out of this for sure. but. Um, what I do have right now is a falling barometer, falling pretty rapidly, and um, the fishing hasn't been great, but you know what, uh, this is picking up a little bit here, this is okay, I'm hooking up a couple of fish, uh, and it's going to get better. And this is a two and three quarter ounce Jobo Jr. Uh, Guppy pencil popper, and uh, yeah, it's a great plug, what I like about it is it casts beautifully, it lays just nice and level. Uh, on the cast, no wobbling, no spinning, excellent distance, and it really tears up the surface of the water. So that's what I'm looking for uh, in a good pencil popper. Okay, just a small keeper, but uh, yep, uh, we're gonna upgrade here. Big tail. So I think I'm in the clear with rocks. Water temperature is probably 70, 72. It's a big fish. Could be slow and steady, wins the race. Oop, oop, rubbing on a rock. Go off. Now the two most likely ways I can lose this fish is to cut it off on the rocks or apply too much pressure trying to keep it from the rocks and then end up straightening the hooks. Uh, that water temperature comment played into that. Uh, with the warmer water, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to get another big run out of it. Maybe I could loosen up a little bit. I did put it on a boga and it was uh, just slightly over 30 pounds.
And now I'm going to mess up getting video of the release, although the release is okay. Um, all right, yeah, I want to drag this fish through the water. I go to reset my camera, and then I realize my camera bag is dragging through the water. And that messes me up, and then the fish thrashes out of my hands. By the time I get the camera on, yeah, he's swimming out. I would have preferred to spend more time, but he did thrash out. Okay, let's talk about the hooks. Okay, now these plugs come with quality hooks. These are 4X strong hooks. This is one of the hooks that was on the plug. I did not horse that fish. I took it relatively easy. I had the luxury of not having a ton of boulders around. Um, and still, you see a bend in the hook. Um, I greatly prefer using 6X strong hooks on my plugs for these larger bass. No plug that I know of is coming with 6X strong hooks, or very few. Um, these are really very good ones, but you know, again, you, you can see what happened. A, a lot of people will think about going to singles. Eh, the singles aren't any better. That's a 4X strong single quality hook straightened on a large bluefish. Um, now, 6X strong hooks aren't even that easy to find. I ended up ordering them online. I think they cost me about 80 cents a piece, but uh, it's peace of mind when you've got a quality fish on that something like this isn't going to happen. Okay, if you enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button.